seek permission to enter at times when it's needed, when there are others residing in the home, then to actually seek permission to enter, especially within other rooms in the house. He mentions if family members are resting in their rooms and you intend to enter that room, then seek permission to enter. Otherwise, you may see them in a condition that you or they, for that matter, may dislike. This applies to your entire household, your immediate family, mahrams like your parents or children, and other non-mahrams as well. Imam Malik rahimahullah has recorded in his muwatta from Ata ibn Yasar rahimahullah that a man asked Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam the following, should I seek permission to enter my mother's home? Do I have to seek permission to enter my mother's home? So Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, naam, yes. But then he said, but we live together in the same house. We live together in the same house. Do I still have to seek permission every time I enter? So Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said again, yes, seek permission. Then he again he said, but I, am, I serve her day and night. I am her servant, I am her khadim. Do I still have to seek permission? Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, yes, you still have to seek her permission. Atuhibbu an taraha uryana? Do you want to see her in such a condition where she is bare of her clothing? Perhaps she's changing her clothing or something like that and you want to accidentally walk in on her? The man replied, of course not. Then Rasulullah said, then you have to seek permission before entering. 